They always say, I love you in bad boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got huge boys once, didn't we? <laughs> we did, we did. We're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh. That was a Margate pride, isn't it? I loved you in huge boys. Yeah. So, yeah, I think our interactions with, with people have, have been, <laughs> they've been fun. Uh, yeah. So keep them coming. Hi, I'm Dylan the Weather, and I'm John Pointing, and this is Behind the Scenes on the Big Boys Attitude Cover Shoot. Season two compared to season one. Well, we haven't seen season two yet. Yeah, but... I would I would say like on a personal level, like season one was amazing and we had this incredible time and we sort of bonded, but we still essentially had only just kind of met each other. So season two felt like it was just really enjoyable because we sort of knew each other. We were kind of comfortable. A lot of the crew came back. So we pretty much had the same crew. Yeah, and a few new faces as well, but that was like perfect balance. Yeah. I think, yeah, it, it was, I mean, both shoots were, so fun but yes yeah, season two is just a bit more comfortability because of yeah and you just savor it all a bit more because you know it's first time around you're just you're all sort of a bit in the headlights you're just kind of trying to get through it and then this time i really sort of enjoyed like i love it when we do scenes together especially when we're just sat down yeah. <laughs> and we can like maybe like katie wicks is being funny and we can just sort of sit there and laugh yeah yeah they filled the world out more like obviously you know we sort of established the sort of uni world and the the hope like Jack's home life and storylines about the characters were kind of sort of alluded to but this series I think we get to sort of meet some of those people that are mentioned and sort of sort of see the kind of backstory if you like everyone's characters is just filled out more that was what's so good about this series is like seeing and being able to work more with the other characters like you know Azuka and Aly Alyssa and yeah. Harriet and stuff so Exactly. I think, yeah, you just delve deeper into the, the character's lives one and you see more the, the arc of their story. And, and um, with my character, with Jack, you, I think you see a bit more of a mature version of Jack and he's like learning so much more. And yeah, he's coming out of his shell more because, it, because he's, he's come out of the closet and he's uh, still learning lots from um, uh, Yemi. Uh, he's like his his sensei kind of things. Second year, second year counts. Exactly, exactly. second year counts. So they got to start, they got to start working a little bit, taking things a bit more seriously. That's but true. That's true. Um, yeah, and you meet you meet some. There's some new characters like you meet some of Danny's family, uh, which was really fun to do. Um, yeah, it was. Is that enough? Is that enough for you? Let's just watch it. <laughs> So how does it feel to uh, represent the sort of straight gay male friendship? It's kind of like the thing that about the show that I feel sort of most connected to, that's most important to me. My friendship with real Jack in real life, I feel is that, uh, you know, my friendship with a lot of my friends, um, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a difficult one to sort of say really, because it, it is a different kind of relationship than I have with say other my straight friends or like with women. It's in a, you know, it just is different and in a really sort of great way. So it's nice to kind of represent that relationship. Um, Definitely, especially uh, as, yeah, you don't really see it as enough on, on TV. So it's it's really, really good to see it more um, because it's, it's just true. It's such true to life. Oh, is it the first time we met was on the pilot? I think it must have been, yeah. You know? I think it was. I, I did a chemistry read with Camille, who plays my mum, Peggy. But yeah, you did a chemistry read with Azuka then he's... Uh, yes. Oh, that season. That was, yeah, season. yeah, before the first season, yeah. I did chemistry reads for Azuka's role, uh, uh, for Karim, but... I guess we were just so good. It was just like, it's obviously these two. Don't these worry. These two were always get on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah. What was it like your first day then, on set? Do you know what I can only remember from the pilot is because obviously we shoot it in Westminster University um, in northwest London where Jack went to uni. I remember they opened the canteen for us. That's the only bit I remember at the yeah. pilot. And we sat with Camille and she told us about our star signs. That's it. And like yeah. the star sign animal. What they yeah, are. Yeah, spirit animal. Mine was a penguin, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Oh, no. I can't remember. Wasn't Camille's like something weird, like an octopus or something? I can't remember. 
definitely had a lot of people reaching out that had perhaps sort of been touched by the show or they were struggling themselves. And I'm sort of aware that I'm, you know, I'm in no position to sort of be uh, an authority on mental health. I think the process of shooting it and, and some of the scenes that I have to do are sort of, that process is sort of quite, it's not in any kind of actory way that is private, but yeah, I guess, I don't know if I've really, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a difficult one for me to, don't know, understand really fully. Yeah, well, I think it's just common, you know, and it's just, it's really important that that stuff is being shown, you know, and, and I think John portrays it so well. It's good to talk. Yeah. And that is a sort of big message, and especially amongst men, but to the point where I've heard the words mental health come out of my dad's mouth in alone, that's progress. Just hearing him say those words means that there is progress happening and that's great. But also obviously men, and I'm generalizing, do have a habit of kind of labeling something. That means it's sorted. We get, yeah. We've done an advert about let's talk, let's move on. And I think the key thing, and that's again, something that was brought up in series two, the idea that it's good to talk, but we need to know what to say when people need to talk. Like, what do we say? Where are these places and people that they can talk to and stuff? So definitely, especially um, as a lot of men bottle things up. So it, it can be just, yeah, tough to take those steps, but Big Boys tells that story beautifully of, of, of like opening up, you know? People have gone through grief in some way or another, whether it be a family member, whether it be a friend. Um, and I, I, yeah, it's, it's a tough, tough subject. And I, I, I think it's such credit to Jack to, for him to tell his story so well and with so much heart. Um, it's really beautiful to see, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of this show to, to talk about that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and it feels like we were able to kind of do it and confront it. Yeah. Again, in a way that was um, where you, because yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? It's a difficult it's area. Tough, difficult. And with actors as well, like people sort of want you to sort of use your real stuff, which is a sort of dangerous line sometimes. So mm. I think we, uh, we were lucky that we were in an environment that really looked after, everyone looks after each other. Yeah, yeah. It really, it really was a really good safe space for everyone with that. <laughs>